Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing wonderful. So before I even get into the video, I want to say, I know, I know, I know, I have been really, really terrible for uploading lately. It's not that I haven't been wanting to film videos. Like, I literally go to work and think about what I want to film. I come home and I get prepared to film and then I'll literally sit down in front of the camera and before I even hit record, I'm like, just not today. I just shut down and I'm just like, no, not today. Today's not the day for this. And it's not anything to do with me and YouTube. It's just, hi Lily. It's nothing to do with me and YouTube. It's literally just, this is like the hardest. It's my favorite, but also the hardest time of the year for me. So anyone that's been watching my channel for a hot minute will know that I lost my dad. It's 10 years ago, the 8th of December. So a couple weeks ago, hence why I didn't upload that week. Um, and so from basically Thanksgiving, which in Canada is in October, um, up until December and sometimes even into the new year, it's just really hard for me to get into the, the mood for pretty much anything fun. I don't want to sit in front of the camera and talk happily when I'm not going through a happy time. I'm not really wanting to put those fake vibes out on the internet for anyone. Um, as most of you know, I my channel is supposed to be based off of like memories and fun moments and I mean I'm not going to say that like when I'm having a bad day I'm not going to film something. It's just when I'm having a bad day it's hard to film something. Alright, so today's video isn't just going to be about that. We're actually going to do the holly jolly Christmas tag. Ha! But it's basically just 20 questions about Christmas. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and let's just get into it. Alright, so number one. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Well, if you don't know, last year around this time I was doing Vlogmas and I actually made a top 10 movies for Christmas video. Um, but since I'm not going to just continuously send you to other videos, I'm going to tell you my favorite Christmas movie is Jack Frost, the one with Michael Keaton and Kelly Preston. Um, that's been my favorite movie, I think, like favorite Christmas movie since I was about 8. Um, but I think the, the Grinch is a very close runner up. And I also really like I'll Be Home for Christmas because I love Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Number two, are you on the naughty or the nice list? Well, I like to think I'm on the nice list. Like I try to treat people kindly. I try to be respectful. I, I try to help people when they need help. But I work a lot and therefore I break a lot of plans last minute. I'm late to a lot of things. I mean, at the end of the day though, like it's not that I don't care or that I'm trying to be rude or whatever, it's just that my job is kind of important as it pays the bills. Um, I'm going to say I'm on the, ni the nice list. I'm going to stick with nice list. Yeah. Number three, show us an embarrassing Christmas photo. I'm not going to do that <laughs> just because I don't really have access to any right now. Um, I have all of my photos put away. I did a really big decluttering spree in the summer. And while I was going through that, I put a lot of stuff away in safekeeping and most of my photos were involved in that. Number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? I have. In fact, I've only ever had maybe one or two green Christmases. And those are like, it'll be green and then like as soon as Boxing Day hits, it's like snow everywhere. All the roads are shut down. The world is coming to an end because there's just snow everywhere. But yeah, like I've, I've lived through a couple of green Christmases and they generally kind of don't rock. Um, I prefer the, the snow even if I have to drive to and from my family gatherings in a torrential uh, snow squalls that you can't see through. I'll do it. Ask anyone. I'll do it. <laughs> Number five. Do you start Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? I honestly have never been Black Friday shopping. I never have the money when Black Friday is here. I generally don't think about, like I think about Christmas starting in like August and I'll start slowly buying stuff. But then by the time that like November and early December gets here, I'm out of money. So, I mean I've done Boxing Day shopping. Does that count? Number six, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I think Santa Claus would be fun. There's, they've got a lot of extras, I wouldn't even have to stand out. Um, but... I'm thinking, honestly, I would love to be in Jack Frost, especially if it wasn't a movie, I think, because I've lost my dad. Um, but I honestly just love the magic in, like, 
how Christmas brings them together one more time. And I would love to be like well, looking in on, even if it's just a friend of mine who's getting to spend another day with someone they've lost. Like, I mean, that's such a beautiful thought to me, such a beautiful idea to me. And I would just absolutely love that. But also, I mean, I'll Be Home for Christmas has Jonathan Taylor Thomas. But he's like four times my age at this point. Okay, Home Alone. I would want to be in Home Alone because I would want to be the one that's like setting off all these badass traps and injuring people who are trying to hurt me. Yeah. So Home Alone. If not Jack Frost. If not, I'll Be Home for Christmas. But only if Jonathan Taylor Thomas is in it. Number eight, name all of Santa's reindeer. Okay. Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, and Rudolph and Olive, because all of the other reindeer. I think that's it. Number nine, when does your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Okay. Um, admittedly, today is the 19th of December and my Christmas tree will not be going up until probably the 23rd <laughs> because I have too many cats and they always damage it and I just bought a brand new tree last year you might have seen it in one of my shorts last Christmas just bought a brand new tree it's a white tree it's got really pretty lights on it and I have two cats right now that are very into chewing cords and therefore until I'm off work for the season because I get two weeks off work at Christmas uh, until I'm off work that tree ain't going up. That tree's not coming out of the box until I know for sure it is safe. So, the 23rd and my my son and I will decorate it. Um, and then we'll take it down on Boxing Day, as usual, because that way nobody has time to hurt it, so. Number 10, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Fun fact, I used to always have a real tree at my mom's house when I was growing up, probably from like the age of six until the age of mm, 13 we had a real tree um, but not anymore we, we have fake trees because um, well we just do they last longer um, I also don't really like the idea of cutting down trees so that I can keep them in my house for a couple weeks and throw them to the curb I prefer them to be in the forest where they kind of belong although I do love the smell of fresh Christmas trees I, I loved having it um, I loved feeling like I was, you know, raising a pet fish when I was keeping it watered. But also, like, the the ones that I had in my house, the real ones, lost pine needles all the time. And I don't know if you've ever stepped on a pine needle at 4 in the morning when you're going to get a, dra a glass of water, but I have, and it didn't feel great. Um, so, I prefer the fake ones anyways. And yeah, that's, that's where it sits. Number 12. Peeking at gifts or be surprised. If you're, if I catch you peeking at gifts that I bought you before you're allowed to open them, I'm going to keep it. But if it's wrapped and, you know, you're impatient enough to have to peek at it, then you probably don't deserve it. Because, you know, Santa sees everything and if he knows you're peeking at your gifts, you probably won't get any. Number 14, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? As, as far as anything, like maybe some like movie, movie star guy. So I would say like probably Logan Lerman because I think he's still kind of sort of my celebrity crush. Aside from Dylan O'Brien or Tyler Posey because I'm like really into Team Wolf again right now. Um, but as far as like real life, I don't really have anybody in mind for that. Um, yeah. Number 15. Does your family have a special holiday recipe that you like to help make? Well, back in the day, my stepmother and stepsister used to make this thing they called Christmas breakfast. It was like a mixture of like eggs and bacon and ham and a bunch of other stuff I don't really eat. Um, just because like eggs kind of don't set well with me and I'm not really much of a meat eater. So I never, I don't think I ever even tried the Christmas breakfast. Uh, in retrospect um, but yeah no no we don't have a special recipe usually at Christmas like I'll make scalp potatoes or I'll bring the drinks because that's kind of what I'm good at or I'll bring the buns because I love bread and I'm like if I don't bring them who will um, but I don't there isn't really a, an actual Christmas recipe last year I tried to make like a chocolate and candy cane bark with like crushed almonds 
and it went really really wrong so i probably won't try that again um okay i got nothing are right, number 16 are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably i think i'm pretty good at rapping generally i i really get upset when i get one of those presents that's not like the right shape for wrapping and so then i usually just put it in a box and then i just feel very unoriginal um i put a lot of time into my wrapping like i'm actually kind of like putting it off lately because i know how long it's going to take me with like the like 15 presents in total that i bought i know how long it's going to take me so I'm putting it off a little bit because every present, I can't just wrap it. It has to be done right. If it's not done right, then I'm not satisfied. And I have open presents that I've wrapped before because I didn't like how they looked. Um, but I will tell you, I do have one thing I, I'm really, really specific on. So every present, no matter the shape, no matter the size, every present gets a bow. I have this full collection of bows. And I have a, a color that goes with every wrapping paper um, that you could possibly find or imagine. So that's, I'll say they all look beautiful at the end. Number 17, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? I haven't, no. I've gone to like the church services though where like they all stand and sing all the Christmas carols together but I've never like, I've never even seen someone go like door to door. That's not something I grew up with seeing or watching. I wish, that would be so fun. Except for the fact that it's like freezing outside but. It'd be so fun. <laughs> Number 18. What tops your tree? Okay, well at my dad's it was always a star and at each point it was a different colored light. Um, and at my mom's it was always an angel. My camera's gonna stop filming so I'm gonna go really, really quick. Number 19. Do you make re New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I do not make resolutions. I make vision boards and I do my best. I do my best. And there's a vision board video coming up soon for 2021 and then I'll be filming the making of the 2022 vision board. Okay, and number 20, what or have you you have been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? Jack Frost to spend Christmas with my dad one more time. That's the end of this video because it's going to stop recording. Uh thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and tell me in the comments what your favorite Christmas movie is because I want to know. Um, I also did recently watch the new A Boy Called Christmas movie. I did do a review of that. It is spoiler free so if you want to check that out it will be in the description below and also right here. Check that out and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!